Hello, friends. Welcome back to Jaja Draws. It is June, so it makes it incredibly appropriate that I tackle Junicorn. Um, but also, it is Pride Month, which means it is time to pull out all the rainbow themed things to celebrate our friends in the LGBTQIA community. Um, one of the things that I love about Pride is how inclusive it is. As long as whatever you're doing is with a consenting adult, I support you. I enjoy the fact that there is a place and a community where you could just be like, hey, this is the non-normative thing that I'm into and I was born this way and it's beautiful. And also hand me that rainbow colored shirt because you know, it's pride. So, um, I decided to combine, this is my, this is my pride unicorn drawing. Um, and, uh, recently I did a little bit of, uh, some investigation into ungulates because I think, you know, it's awesome if you have unicorns that aren't horse based, why not base them on other ungulates? And I will tell you that for a brief period of time, there was a plan in June to just draw a whole bunch of unicorns based on non-traditional ungulates. But I kind of ran out of time and there's some other things that I needed to get into June, what with it being, you know, the month that we celebrate Juneteenth and also my daughter's birthday and all of that other stuff. So this is it, I think. I don't think I have time for anything else. This is your unicorn. And if I was gonna choose a single ungulate and not get to fit the rest of them in, then clearly I was gonna choose the dick dick. I'm just, I'm just gonna spell that on the screen now for those of you with filthy minds. The dick dick is the world's smallest ungulate. They are tiny, they are itty bitty, they are so adorable. They're like the size of a house cat, you guys. They're so cute. And I was like, well, clearly they are the most adorable of the ungulates and therefore they are going to be what I base my unicorn on. Now, originally, I had planned to color these with marker. Um, I do really love a good alcohol marker drawing and that had been my plan. However, it did occur to me that maybe there was a better idea for a drawing like this. My Poscas. I got really excited when I realized that this could be a Posca pen drawing. But when I pulled out my Poscas and I started sorting them for the purposes of this video, I realized that I had a really big problem, which is that the set that I had originally purchased didn't really have the assortment that I was looking for for a rainbow drawing. So I did the only thing that I possibly could. I bought more. Like all the other artists that I know, I'm not really rolling in the cash. In fact, you could go ahead and call me impoverished, but you cannot take an artist and be like, hey, you've had this wonderful idea for a full rainbow drawing, but you're missing some appropriate pastel shades in order to fully complete your rainbow ideal, and then not expect them to fill in their supplies so that they can do the thing they envisioned. It's just, it's never gonna happen. Anyway, once I had fully satisfied my addiction and gotten the Posca that I needed to realize my dick dick a corn dream, um, well, I should probably edit that out, but you know what? I'm not gonna. <laughs> anyway, once I had all the colors, uh, I did some brief swatching and I grabbed what I thought would look best together for the rainbow and then I picked out some colors for the body of my little unicorn and uh, I had at it and I've got to tell you I really enjoyed it. I'm really hesitant to use a ton of bright colors most of the time. Um, I think there's some sort of inhibition about it in my heart like I have to do things that are subtle or whatever but just by the nature of the drawing having permission to break out all those bright colors and throw them on the page with 
childlike abandon was so delightful and just it was just really really enjoyable to go hog on this rainbow mane that my little dick dick has Now seems like a really good time to tell you all that I live next to a Harley Davidson dealership, um, which means during the summer and the warm months, while my windows are going to be perpetually open, all of these voiceovers will probably periodically be graced by the sound of background motorcycles. And um, we're just we're just gonna wish them all well and hope that they are enjoying their lovely ride on these bright sunny days. And also recommend to them excellent muffler dealers because, wow, they're all so loud. So this is the second spiral horn that I have drawn on a unicorn that I've created. The first one was um, my nightmare corn, which I created with the help of some just really twisted people that I know on Facebook. Um, I gotta tell you guys, drawing spiral horns is difficult. Um, I'm not doing a ton with it right this second on the screen, but later you're gonna see me try and do the spiral like three times before I get it even anywhere close. Um, after I drew in the horn, then I went and uh, colored the Dick Dick white as its base color, which trust me in person made a huge difference, but on screen didn't, so I'm skipping that bit for you and just going straight to where I start doing something interesting again. So after I got done coloring in the ears, I of course remembered that I hadn't been planning on making the horn pink. Uh, Yet an another thing that was difficult about the horn. Anyway, um, I decided to use the dark blue for my line art as well as the nose and eyes of my dick dick acorn. I've got to stop saying that. Someone is going to think I'm swearing. Ahem. I decided to use dark blue for the line work on my tiny ungulate unicorn. That's better, right? Um, it's funny, I'd gone out of my way to get extra shades so that I would have more options um, in my Posca pens. And then, of course, that didn't help because then I had other choice. I had choices instead of just having, well, these are your shades and you have to work with them. In the end, I do like the color palette that I chose. Um, I had considered just making the entire <clears throat> tiny ungulate unicorn body um, pale purple. Uh, which is what I ended up using for the shading color, but I, I like what I did, which is the white body with the pink accent colors and then purple for shadow. Um, yeah, and I feel like the blue is a decent outline color. Normally I would use the dark purple um, when I'm working with Poscas in a situation like this, but since the purple was anchoring the rainbow, I didn't, I didn't want there to be color confusion as to what was line art versus what was, you know, Rainbow. Everyone feel free to lean in closely and watch as I struggle to make this spiral horn situation work out. <laughs> I know, it doesn't look that bad in the recording, but you have to understand, I've edited this heavily. I mean, remember how this was a pink horn to begin with and, and now it's pale purple? Yeah, there was a whole series of, of spiral horn attempts that didn't make it into the final edit.
anyway, I eventually got it to where I could tolerate it and decided that just was gonna have to be good enough. So I was definitely enjoying how this was coming out, but I have to say that this part right now was my absolute favorite. Going in with all the rainbow colors and blending the locks of hair together so that they were more gradient-like and less starkly delineated was just, it was so beautiful and so satisfying and I enjoyed it so much. Um, if you're anything like me when it comes to color, I invite you to sit back, relax, and watch this 45 second clip with delight because it just, it soothes me on a deep fundamental level to watch the colors merge like this. Anyway, once I got done with my tiny ungulate unicorn, I decided it needed a simple background and what would be better than something that was vibrantly pink. Um, so I went at it, put a square back there just to give it some interest and to fill in those spaces, and then I was done. And I hope you like her. She delights me. I hope everyone's having a great pride. Bye! If you like my art, or the art of any artist here on YouTube, please consider liking and subscribing. It really does help. Thanks!